if mom isn't happy, nobody is happy. That's well, a true. recent study finds that more women than men are unhappy with their lives by the age of 48. The major reason, they only have 41 minutes a day to themselves. That's not much. So how can we give mom the gift of time this Mother's Day? Joining us is Caroline Miller. She's the author of Creating Your Best Life. Happy Mother's Day to you. Oh, thank you. 41 minutes a day to themselves, that is a very small, yeah. that's less than my commute, but you have some tips on how to make mom happy this day. And number one is find out mom's goals and dreams. Right. I mean, this is what's been found is that we have less time than ever to pursue the goals that matter to us. We are so busy helping our children, our spouses, our parents, our friends, our community, that we have pretty much nothing left for ourselves, or actually less historically than ever before. And part of living a happy life, Life. I have a master's degree in happiness from the University of Pennsylvania. <laughs> of course. Um, is that you need to have a life of achievement, meaning, engagement, and purpose. And achievement really matters. But too often, mom's dreams and goals have slipped to the absolute and bottom of the list. And what about moms need a little help once in a while? Take there you the go. tasks off their list? Well, that's it. I mean, the kids and the husband can do a whole lot more, I think, quite often than they're doing. First, find out what mom really wants. Second, find out where her time is going and t find ways to take it off her plate. We're talking you what? Know, laundry? We're talking helping with cooking, cleaning, laundry, what? dishwasher, I'm putting just clothes away, specifics. putting clothes away, um, helping to form more carpools so that mom isn't always stuck being the driver, doing yeah. more things yourself, but not leaving everything for the mom. I did a lot of that last week. Don't you look at me? A lot of driving around town. All right, give mom experiences, not yes. things, not uh, don't just buy a piece of jewelry right. and think that that solves everything. Because things depreciate the moment the box is opened. Memories appreciate. You want to give mom experiences and memories. Like? My well, okay, Again, so specifics. last year I asked all three of my kids, what's your favorite mom memory of me? Don't give me a thing. Tell me what it is that makes me different. The oldest one said, because you're not a follower, you wear 10 different colors on your nails. <laughs> the, the second one said, you know, you're always in our corner, and she gave me examples. And the third one said, we had a fight before bedtime, but you know what? I got sick in the middle of the night, and you were really nice to me. So a little gratitude. Yeah, a little gratitude. And maybe from dad setting an example in that way? Well, that's what I feel very strongly about. The children need to see dad. Setting, setting the example of saying, you know, your mom does a lot. Um, let's express our gratitude. You know, she's not just lighting up all the summer camps for fun. You know, this takes a lot of time. So, yes, express a lot of gratitude. And gra gratitude is highly correlated with happiness. And mom needs to be happier. It's time. And here's one that dads you better know. Take mom out on a date night. Yes. How, why is that so important? The brain loves novelty. It absolutely loves novelty. It thrives on new things. So even in the happiest of marriages, when you do new and different date nights with new and different couples, the relationship thrives. But just remember, the brain loves novelty. I'm going to save this things. card. I'm gonna, I usually get rid of them, but I'm going to hang on You can on call to me this. anytime. <laughs> All right. Caroline Miller, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Great tips, great advice for a Mother's Day, and hopefully there's a lot of happy ones out there today. Happy Mother's Day thank to you. Thank you. All right, coming up, people.